It's an investing community joke that technical analysis is basically astrology. Yet a lot of people that know what they're doing use it. All right, a third way I'm different. I use technical analysis. Ooh, right? First, let's look at the least credible branch of technical analysis. These kinds of chart pattern indicators. You've all seen them. You've all heard people on YouTube trying to tell you they can teach you how to use them to get rich. Benjamin, our lord and savior and favorite financial advisor, has graciously granted me permission to use some of his clips in this video. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, I call him Ben now because we're pretty close. I sent him an email. He sent one back. It's getting pretty serious. I legitimately could not find one back test to suggest that any of these indicators are able to outperform over the long term. Not one. This is the least respected branch of technical analysis. It's what course sellers use, and it's what beginners push onto other beginners. This is the stuff I was talking about in my illusory correlation video in the top right. It's not about these patterns not existing, it's that they don't yield a result consistent enough to make money on. Benjamin references an RSI strategy that did manage to beat the market from 2014 to 2021. Of course, there will always be some instances of these kinds of indicator-based systems working. The only downside is that a lot of these algorithms can have several years of meager or negative returns. This brings up the second problem, which is that most of us do trading as income. If market sentiment changes and renders a technical analysis strategy useless, then that's a problem that most of us can't afford. We can't have one prosperous year followed by a year of losing money, unless you made a ton of money during the first year. It would be impossible to know in real time whether you should up the capital or not based on which type of year or month it's going to be. As Benjamin so elegantly says, I'll ditch a strategy after two days of underperformance, so I can't even imagine believing in the same strategy for years of underperformance. Technical analysis patterns used by themselves are not going to flip the consistent profitability switch. Support and resistance should be the main focus, particularly for beginner traders who are trying to figure out what works. It's simple and is a great tool for trying to understand structure and movements. I remember learning about every indicator and writing papers on each one to figure out how to use them in the beginning. For each new indicator I found, I was like, ooh, this is the one. I'm sure many of you can relate to that. When you objectively test it to see if it works using the scientific method rather than emotions, they just don't work. Watch this Fibonacci video on the top right to see that. From all the backtesting data I've seen, it seems like there's little evidence to suggest that technical indicators have any long-term predictive power when used by themselves. Understanding support, resistance, volume, and momentum can definitely help you gauge market sentiment in a more quantitative manner. These two clips reinforce the idea of technical analysis being a good tool to help you understand the story that price action is telling. It helps us understand what has already happened, but that's different from using shapes to make money. I go over this more later. Also, technical analysis is really just a loose term that means finding patterns in data. The Medallion Fund, arguably one of the greatest hedge funds of all time, has generated a 66% average return over the past few decades purely from looking at patterns in data. In regards to the Medallion Fund, of the 200 employees, a third have PhDs not in finance but in fields like computer science, physics, mathematics, and statistics. Which is mathematics. Whatever. Renaissance has been called the best physics and mathematics department in the world. So, referring to this fund to justify the use of an ascending triangle is like comparing a spoon to an airplane. Both are tools that deliver something. One delivers food, and one delivers people and cargo. Me drawing polygons on a price chart is not the same as a team of 200 people working together to find correlations and data from all over the world using the scientific method and advanced mathematics. Both use patterns, but one of them is a genius, and the other one is you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Originally I had that as the other one is me, but it was too good of an opportunity. And make sure you're paying attention. So what's the moral of the story? Time in the markets is what makes people successful traders, not necessarily the shapes and patterns that they use. My correlation video was about how it's a waste of time memorizing candlestick patterns and other very simple technical analysis shapes. Of course there is some validity to technical analysis, but there's a lot of information that leads beginners astray. 
This information is always pushed by people selling courses and the ones who share those images of very basic charts and shapes. If the shapes were what gave people an edge, then this could be coded very simply to give someone a profitable algorithm, but it doesn't. It's missing the experience of a trader who intuitively has a good idea of whether or not the price action ideal will work based on information that can't be quantified. If an expert trader and I saw a common pattern on a chart, I might lose money on the trade and they might make money. This is because it's not the shape, it's the difference in our experience and our understanding of price action. I think as traders get more experienced, they attribute their success too much to technical analysis when really it's because of them. Using price structure for stops and targets is great. Just be aware that the human brain is constantly searching for patterns even when they don't exist. We're actually incapable of seeing complex patterns. Mark Rober's baseball signal video is a good example of this. He got an AI to figure out which signals meant what, which seemed obvious after the fact, but no person could guess them before. If the little patterns we do see were actually there with any degree of significance, or reliability, then we could code it. You will be successful not because of basic patterns, but because of your experience and hard work. I think long-time traders don't give themselves the credit they deserve. I'm certainly not anti-technical analysis, but I wanted people to understand how the mind works. By showing them how we see patterns that don't exist, I wanted them to understand that they shouldn't waste their time with technical analysis pattern charts and other bogus. Technical analysis is great because it makes us look at how price moves, and the more time we spend with price action, the more it becomes a type of language that we speak. Indicators are only tools that help to tell a story that is already there. Now go watch Ben's video in the description below. He's awesome. Thank you for watching, and thank you very much to my patrons. Michael and Quinn.